What's up guys? So before I start this episode of Connor Thrifts, or Trip to the Thrift, whatever you guys want to call it. <laughs> I already messed up my intro. Before I start this, we're locking up the electric booty and we're doing this at nighttime. And I want to put this before the clip where I'm like, yo, what's up guys? It's episode number 73. So the challenge for today's video, it is 8.15. They close at nine o'clock. The challenge is I cannot look up anything. And I promise I will stick to it because I film on my phone. So there's, it's literally impossible for me to prove that I'm not, you know what I'm saying. All right, so the main reason why I came here was because of my friend Carol. She's like, oh, I saw that they had a bunch of Harley tees, but I can't pay $5 each for each Harley tee. Yeah, if I paid $5 to make 15 after fees and stuff, I'd only profit like $5, and I also don't know. Okay, that is creepy. I also don't know if that item is going to sit forever. Oh, here's another Harley. This one is also $5, size medium. That one's cool because it's a, uh, looks like a police one. I just can't be spending $5 to make $15, if you guys know what I mean. All right, dolphins aren't doing very well this year. $6 for a Ronnie Brown, number 23. It's actually in pretty good condition. I'm trying to see if there's any, like, small stains or any major wear. I guess I could pay $6 to get, like, $25, $30. Not too bad. Jerseys move pretty quickly, too. Usually you could see by, like, the outside like these things, if it's gonna be a good jersey or not. All right, can't lie to my viewers. I had to look it up. <laughs> I already failed the challenge. It says click, click, boom, and it says Saliva, and then it said Saliva.net. It says Made in USA, all sport, 99 cents. Probably get like 30 bucks for it. Let's get some live finds for you guys. We got Caribbean Adventure, Princess. Definitely looks older. It says Made in Panama. You guys think that'll sell? A princess cruise? Oh, here's Hard Rock Baltimore. That's pretty dope. Made in USA, like really small. What's the back look like? Oh, that's really sick. Got some like artsy, trippy stuff. Oh, I see like a Marlin shirt too. Might have just hit like the mother low. Oh, wait. We have a London cafe. That's a dope one. Is that one made in USA? Made in USA. Oh, there's another one. Another Baltimore one. Oh, that one's boring. That one just says Baltimore. I mean, I'll still buy it because it's only a dollar. 25th anniversary of the Hard Rock London. That's pretty cool. J. Crew, Pocket T, Slim Fit, size large. Yeah, we got some pretty cool Hard Rock shirts. And these usually move pretty fast. I'm going to see if my one friend wants them to tie-dye them. Because I know he does the tie-dyes and they look so sick. Like, this one would look so dope if he tie-dyed it. I'm sorry, guys. I had to cheat on my challenge because... I had to look that up. I didn't know what band it was. And just click, click, boom. I mean, it's only a dollar. I could have gambled on it. Sometimes that extra dollar, that could have been like my dinner. That could have been a burrito from Taco Bell. I'm so stingy. All right, I'm definitely gonna fail this challenge because I just wanna know how much they're worth. Like, I don't even care that they're $5 and they're track pants. Like, JaVinci track pants, these are so sick. But I wanna be teaching you guys. I don't want you guys to be taking gambles like I do. When my phone's dead, maybe we'll do that type of video. Oh wait, I can't film it. <laughs> but yeah, I like looking stuff up because then I could be like, oh, you guys should buy Givenchy if it's like the track pants because paying $5, we can make $30 and we can make $50. I don't know how much these are going to go for, but if I looked them up right now, I could tell you and teach you guys. So I suck at these challenges. All right, so I looked it up and it looks like they're actually pretty hard to find. So maybe $50 to $100. That's what everyone's charging for them. This one has like a cool cord. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. If someone just added this cord, I make a look at the little tips and see if it says JaVinci anywhere. But yeah, that's definitely a good find. Five dollars, probably into at least thirty-five, forty. I'll probably post them for fifty-nine, ninety-nine. They look in good condition in their size, medium or large. What's up, guys? That was such a bad intro. Locking up the electric booty. I'm with Tevin. What's up, guys? So I bought him a. Well, I bought it for us to grow the eBay store business. I bought him a MacBook Air that I got from my friend Joey for one hundred fifty bucks. Ready. He was so happy. He was like, wait, 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 what? You got, you got this for me? That was funny. All right, so it's half off at Thrift City. Oh, is the door broken? All right, well, it's half off, so hopefully we can find something. It's like 5 o'clock p.m. Two Nike shirts. It says clean clicks, dirty looks. We have a Nike Steezy shirt, $3. That one is $3 as well. It's half off everything. And then we got the uh, Salt Life shirt for $3. Most of these shirts just go for like 15 bucks, but... All of them are in good condition. And then those are for myself. Didn't even find this in the t-shirt section. Found it in the polo section. The price is right, single stitch, Hanes. 
Tevin's over here flipping through. What's this one? If you find like Vineyard Vines, that does good too. No, I haven't. Okay, because this brand was like in the most random place, this Vineyard Vine shirt. See, it looks like that, the whale logo. Even $4 is not that much for this. Like we, like Tevin, we could get like 20 bucks for this. That's not bad, it's a nice shirt though. Yeah, and then I got this Billabong one. And it looks like older, the tag. I don't know, I like it. It looks dope with the sleeves too. Like you could charge like 25 bucks on the store for this. So I caught Tevin slipping over here. Got the Polo Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Probably speaks with him. I don't know how he missed it because Polo Ralph Lauren is his favorite brand. Five bucks. It's not like really steep. It's a long sleeve. Like that's what helps it. Yeah. And, and like the P-Wing looks dope. Oh, if it was a large, it would be yours. Absolutely. I mean, I'm keeping the prices right shirt. But yeah, five bucks probably sell for like 25. Oh, you mean you're keeping keeping that? Oh, okay. oh the price is right? Yeah, I'll wear it a couple of times and sell it. Tevin, what'd you find? A Russian doll. God damn it. <laughs> what? There's more? <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiny. Hey, wait, does it break up even more? No, that's the last one. <laughs> Any shoes, Tevin? Seven bucks. Decent. Ten bucks? Half off, right? No, shoes aren't half off. Oh, that's crazy. Ten bucks. Oh, yeah, that would have been good for half off. No, no, it's only it's only uh, clothes are half off. I'm sure almost all these shoes would have been gone anyways if it was half off shoes. All right, guys, so I'm just making a quick stop at the post office. A lot of people always ask me, why do I ride a bike? And my question to them is, why don't you make six figures? I make six figures and I ride a fucking bike. I got this duffel bag. Holy shit, it weighs a lot. I had it resting on my bike rack right here. I shipped out 40 packages, put them all in this bag, $30 on average a sale. What is that, like 1200 bucks in a weekend? Come on, what are you guys doing? All right, Thrift Family dropped off the packages. The thrift store I'm going to, I usually go here only on half off days, but I'm here a day early because I was in the area. The post office is only like two miles down the street, locking up the electric booty. We got the duffel bag though. Last time I showed you guys the duffel bag, we found so many items at Salvation Army. So hopefully, we find some really good stuff here at this thrift store today. Why does the thrift store have to hate me this much? I thought I scored. Would have been a good deal because they're half off too. <sighs> Freaking animal hospital. Freaking animal hospital. Why has it got to be like that, man? I was so pumped up too. I was like, oh, two of them too. Not just one jersey, but two. And now it's looking like a, ooh, there's a Quicksilver shirt. That's definitely vintage. Let's look at this one. Oh, it's striped. Four dollars, I'll take it. In this new cart, I just got this Nautica Performance Hydro Race US-1. Pretty sick little strap back Nautica. Maybe like a $25 bill once it's all cleaned up because it's really dirty and nasty. It smells like smoke, like cigarette smoke. Here's an easy $20 bill right here. Size small for, oh, it's a kid's small. Still 20 bucks, $3 for Tom Brady. Wait, the Patriots thing? <laughs> Looks like it says Peos or Deos because it's ripped off. I might have to peel that off just so it has nothing on there so it looks better. I don't know if that makes sense. I also saw this jersey over here I gotta look up. It said something about uh, Mass Premier Soccer. I don't know if that's anything. I'll look it up, but my phone's dying. I get this is the last find because my phone's definitely gonna die soon. Size XL, New York Giants. Oh, it got stuck right here. Oh no. You got Jacobs. And then we have a New York Yankees Majestic, size 2XL. And then it has a number 23 stitched in on the back, but no name. I don't know who number 23 is, but definitely looks older. And it's 20% off everything. All right, this Goodwill's half off everything. We have Berkeley, really cool striped crew neck. Definitely 90s. And that is a size large. Then we have this really, really dope vintage Paris soccer polo. I like the big swoosh right there. Is it made in USA? It's made in Indonesia, size 2XL. $2.50 and sell for like 40 bucks. Then we have this road rat, pretty dope Nike tee, size extra large. There's this triad hammer Wilson tennis racket. And I saw a couple going for either 30 up to $100. And we have a North Face blank hat pretty dope and it's like a stretch fit and it's made in USA I've never seen this before so definitely a little gamble but I'll take it 
We got $3.50 for the Kansas, or no, Arkansas, my bad. It's crazy how Kansas and Arkansas sound totally different, but you only need an AR in the front. What's up, guys? So I just got a haircut, locking up the electric booty. We are at Goodwill, our favorite location right here on Royal Palm and 441. My hair is going crazy because it's just so fluffy and loose. Now that I got a haircut, I got the side shave. They usually just get a fade. Hopefully you find some good stuff. Had a good day on eBay so far, like 300 in sales. All right, first grab for probably six, yeah, $6. We have Zach Thomas, size extra large with some pretty nice stains over here, but I could get them out pretty easily. Yep, stains on the back as well. But the print is pretty crispy. It's made by Reebok, size extra large, probably like a $30 bill, maybe 35. I do really good with his jerseys. Yo, what a great rack right here. Just pulled all of these, all vintage. U.S. Army, Miami Hurricanes. Oh yeah, this one was Miami Hurricanes, 1989. Then we have a Team USA, 1996. Pretty cool beefy tag. We have another Army type shirt. It says Death Dealers. It's a tank. And then this one, Celebrate the Earth and Sky. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Holy shit, guys, I've been waiting for a haul like this. Ready? Attack Company Death Dealers. This thing is so sick. Definitely 80s. We got another one. Another one. And right here, look. Windows at Magazine. Really sick window shirt. Early 2000s. Uh, compact. Pretty cool one. Early 2000s, late 90s. I'll have to look that up. I'm pretty sure it's like a computer brand too. All right, so the Power Bar shirt from the 90s. I'm gonna pass on it because it is going for like trash money and there's lots of yellowing. I don't know if you guys could see that, but lots of yellowing stains. This one, the Jordan shirt for a dollar, pretty cool. We have the Pennsylvania, University of Pennsylvania champion, size large. And then the compact was actually doing pretty decent. I could probably get like 20 bucks for it. It's only 99 cents. Love those types of deals. Especially the 99 cents into $30 for most of those vintage tees. Such a good score. Grabbing two more tees for 99 cents each. We got Harley Davidson. This is Phil Peterson's Key West. And then we have this vintage shirt that says, you got, you got to get this thing. Prodigy. Single stitch for the loom tag made in USA. Pretty good score today, guys. Pretty happy.